شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان فمن شهد منكم الشهر فليصم ومن كان مريضا أو على سفر فعدة من أيام أخر يريد الله بكم اليسر ولا يريد بكم العسر أولا مسلاتي ولك أنغوان موسي أعظم تري برنين تاري أبوجا ناجيريا ولك قبات دون تفسيري ود إياه دي نامو كارانتين شكرون بمتبقى جنان حكبا كمونا فاتاك الله يميمي تامن إرمونا كما الله يني سنت دونا النوبة كما يكاوما نسوء إغبا كده تو كبير مكسابا زا متاشي نيدي دي إنه كوانا أجيا حرين زمنا جيكين سورة السبع زا متاشي أكن آية تا غوما دي دي إنه الله تعالى ميجيرما دن أوكاكا يا با مكسان النبي داود ولقد أتينا داود منا فضلا وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا دَاوُدَ مِنَّا فَضْلًا يَا جِبَالُ أَوِّبِي مَعَهُ وَالطَّيْرَ وَعَلَنَّا لَهُ الْحَدِيدَ هكا يسن ديرك شن أن باون الله تبارك وتعالى النبي داود عليه الصلاة والسلام الله تعالى شي وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا دَاوُدَ مِنَّا فَضْلًا للي حقيقة باب كو كنتو Mumbawa watu Dawud alayhi salatu wa salam Daga gareemu Watu da gojang Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala Fadla Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala Ya bashi wa tapalala Watu al-fadl alaram chi kalini Bayang Allah ta'ala ya maka wa tapalala Kumai karama wa tapalala Kumai karama wa tapalala Tushina al-Nabi Dawud alayhi salatu wa salam Ya kai hadda shi Allah da kansa Yeche lalai Lalai mu Dumaka ala chi Dawud alayhi salatu wa salam Mumbashi watu watapala labu ba Wadda ba ubawa wata nsubata ni ba Malamai musamma ibn kathiri ya kawo pala la daban 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 Da akawa anabi Dawud alayhi salatu sa Da gachiki anabta da Allah ta'ala ya bashi Lalli anabi Dawud ina chikin anabawa wang Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala Tu idang Allah ta'ala ba mutang anabta Watu pala la chi Ba wai wana aiki ya ba sabani Mutu mende zaidi zaman tu mu mu mini kumu sini zaidi nga aiki hari kwa nandaraja. Unka sa umpasi kiki kumu shiri kiki koka piri shima us ayu kai kiki yeyi yake wa nandaraja. Tu ama anabta Allah kizaba yana zaba mwan deso achikimba yinsa daga chiki anabi Dawud alisalatu sala tu seba sha anabta palalaji sa anang Allah tabara kote Allah ba shimbuliki. Badul lebani kana anabi kata mwan tuwa basaraki Kome muliki Anabi Isa alayhi salatu wa salam Anabi ng'alla ni Babani chingu ulil azmi Amma baye da muliki Ba muliki liba Amma shi anabi Dawud Allah ta ala ya bashi muliki Sa anamma ala maysa kachi Baye ng Allah ya bashi muliki Say kuma ya bashi tamkin Watu karpu muliki na iya juya muliki Nenda ikisu Ya juya muta nansa Ya chiga abunda rai Ba muliki nena siyasa Ba wada siya anje mojalisa Anja antata wuna abinda kagada maka chisu kai kai shuga ba maka chiba za kai ba za kai ba In kai siya maa kuma akwa beka Ado bukara diya Shi Allah ta ala ba shi tamkin a mulikim Tu deki kuma anda bing Allah ni Yena sarapad da mulikim bisa Biyaya ga Allah ta baraka wa ta ala Kaga guma da guma Ga mulikim yena yi kuma ga biyaya achi mulikim nasa Sa anan si Allah ba shi runduno ni naso joji Wadda Suna the training Then the end of the first country Babu Zuru Dubban sojoji Allah ta'ala Masi masi karifi Na iya Watu aini jada kowa Awa janyaki Kaga wana watu palalachi Allah ta'ala Masi Saan nansi Allah ta'ala Wara kota Allah ibama An Nabi Dawud alayhi salatu wa salam Watu karifi na ilimi Dama abamu ting An Nabi ta'ala Dama aku ilmi tarashi Sana kijina di chike keng ili mi wada ki saita kuma inashi Sana kapalalanda Allah ta'ala wa anabi Dawud alayhi salatu wa salam Suna dewa Suna dewa Tu shisa Allah ta'ala da kansa yichi Walakad atina Dawud minna fadla Hakika mumbama anabi Dawud alayhi salatu wa salam Watapalala 
Allah tabarak wa ta'ala yace ya jibalu an wibi ma'ahu wa tayr wata balalan ku ba da Allah ta'ala ma annabi Dawud alayhi salatu wassalam Allah ta'ala yace ya kuduwar wasu tsauni kenan aka ba mu Abuja nan ka ce Zuma Rock da manyan manyan duwatsu yace ya kuduwatsu kamar wato ba dutse dai ba jinsin duwatsu ya jibal dukkanin su an wubi ma'ahu ko ringa wato ainin rerawa tare da shi ko ringa hadan wuriyar ku tare da shi ku dinga wato ainin zikiri tare da shi ku dinga istighfari tare da shi ku dinga ambatan Allah tare da shi wa tayr sanan da tsuntsaye gabaki dai su ma su zo aka ce annabi Dawud alayhi salatu wasallam idan yana zikiri zaka samu duk wayannan da Allah ta'ala ya ambata su ma suna tare da shi sanan ambatan Allah Allah tabarak wa ta'ala ya bashi wannan to idan yana ambato saboda irin muryan da Allah ya bashi muryan annabi Suleiman alayhi salatu uh, Dawud alayhi salatu wasallam murya ce na musamman wadda tana da zaki da kwalliya a cikin ta a uh, wannan kuma ya tabbata a uh, hadisi sai wadda suka inganta wadda annabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam da kansa ya ambata wata rana amin sus uh, muzu ila amin Allah saboda gare shi ya ji abi Musa al-Ash'ari yana karanta Qur'ani yana rera Qur'ani to sai annabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam yace masa bai laqad uti mizmara min mazamir ali daud yace lalle abi Musa al-Ash'ari Allah ya bashi wato sauti mai zaki irin zakin da ya ba mu wato ainin ali daud wato zuriyar daud alayhi salatu wasallam kada kenan a cikin al'umma annabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam akwai wadda aka kamanta sautin sa da sautin Musa alayhi salatu wasallam annabi Musa alayhi salatu wasallam yana da sauti ba karami ba aka ce idan yana tasbihi ta ruwa ake yi a zuwa da tasbihin sa kuma a dinga yi a tare da shi saboda irin sautin da Allah tabarak wa ta'ala ya ba ma Musa alayhi salatu wasallam na wato ainin yawan amma ta Allah kuma nan Dawud alayhi salatu wasallam Dawud alayhi salatu wasallam kuma nan yana nuna cewa duk da wannan mulkin duk da wannan wato ainihin sojoji runduna nashi to yana ambatan Allah amma to mai yawa shi sa nasaran bawa a rayuwa ya zanto mai yawan tuna Allah tabarak wa ta'ala ko yana cikin jin dadi ko yana cikin wahala kaga shi galibi wadda suka fi wato ainihin halaka da wurwuri su ne masu dukiya da masu mulki saboda mulkin su yana shagaltar da su daga ambatan Allah haka nan dukiyoyin su da mu'amalan dukiyan kai koman sa da dissafin sa da sanin ina ya shiga ina zai fito yana sa su dewan su su rage yawan ambatan Allah ta'ala ke za ka samu a masallatai idan ana ko tafsiri ko wani tahajjud zaka samu manyan manyan masu mulki da waya ka gansu ba ana cewa ne ba sa yi a gida ba amma zaka samu sun karanta a cikin jama'a to a gida ma haka zaka samu domin sun shagaltu to wannan shagaltuwan ba ta je wajen annabi Dawud alayhi salatu wasallam ba yana yawan ambatan Allah tabarak wa ta'ala har Allah Dawud alayhi salatu wasallam har Allah ta'ala yake ba mu labari sai Allah ta'ala yace wa alanna lahu alhadida sai muka hore masa wato ainin a bakin karfe wato karfe da muke gani yana da amfano ga dan adam dewa wayannan motocin da muke gani wayannan baburan jiragen ruwa jiragen sama duk da baki dayan su a ta gine gine da kake gani ai gine mai be ne ya tsayi ya tsaya shekaru aruru to zaka samu akwai karafuna a ciki da ake sakawa karfi yana da amfano da yawa da yawa da yawa yanzu cikin abin da ya samu muka ci baya a kasar mu Najeriya da ma kuma kasar Afirka shine Allah ta ala ya mana arziki daga ciki akwai karafuna amma sai ka samu ba ma sarrafar da su misali a Najeriya a Jakuta a jihar Kogi gwamnatoci dewa sun zo sun shude ba sai abin da ya dace ba 
a wannan wajen saboda makircin turawa da ganin cewa da za mu iya sarrafa wannan karafuna farko dai duk mota da za a hauta mu za mu yi kaya mu duk wani na'ura na iya sarrafa wasu abubuwa wa'annan karafunan da su za mu yi su hatta abin da ya shafi wato kamfanoni kamfanin kera kaza kamfanin kera kaza duk shi karafunan nan su za a sarrafa su kuma sarrafar da wa'annan abubuwa ba ga hatta markade ma hatta markade wannan da ake yi abin nan kananan markade wa'annan timatir wa'ai duk karafuna ne kara da karfe za amfani shi za daga shi a juya shi a hada shi hatta babur din da kake gani da karafuna ne abinda zai ke juya shi saka karfe ba karamin amfano bane da arziki ga dan adam duk al'umma da aka ba su sarrafa karafuna to Allah ta'ala ya masa arzikin duniya to annabi dawud alayhi salatu wasallam babban injiniya ne in kace injiniya ma ka rage domin karshen injiniya a ce satis abin nan wanda aka kwararren injiniya wanda aka riga aka bashi lasisin yin wato ainihin aikin aikin wato gine gine ko abin nan juye juyen karafuna da yake shi abun yana da yalwa to shi da kansa aka ce annabi dawud alayhi salatu wasallam idan ya dauko karfe ba sai an sa a wuta ba a da hannunsa kawai zai mummarkwa da ta ya jujjuya ta kawai sarrafa ta ce gashi nan an gama saka shi a lokacin sa bayan bukatan wuta sai kace to wani irin hannu ne da shi yanzu ka dube mafi karfin mutum ka karfin mutum kato mai karfi a ce a bashi karfi ya zai sarrafa karfi amma shi annabi dawud alayhi salatu wasallam da an kawo karafuna kawai to yadda ya ga dama haka zai da su ya lamƙwasa su ya murɗa su ya juya su ya sarrafa su a an rawaito cewa yakan yi wato abin nan dar sulki abin da ake amfani da shi kamar na kariyan yaki haka tufan yaki na karfe yakan yi dubu shida a rana daya dubu shida ko wannan su kuwa malamai sun ce sa dirhamin da ake saida shi ya ware na sadaka ya ware na iyalan sa ya ware na ajiya haka yake annabi dawud alayhi salatu wasallam kenan dan kasuwa ne kuma tunda ya sallu safi idan an yi su ga yadda za a saida su ga yadda za a raba su ga yadda za a kasafi ya yadda za a kasafi a ce mutum yana jagoranci sa'annan kuma yana da sana'an da yake yi wadda yake tema kama al'umar sa wadda yake tema kayan duk Allah ta'ala ya tara wa annabi dawud alayhi salatu wasallam na'am surah saba verse 10 uh, starting verse 10 where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala discusses about one of his messengers and the blessing the bounties that Allah the most high granted to him Allah says wa laqad atayna dauda minna fadla we have indeed granted daud alayhi salatu wasalam minna from us fadla bounty Allah the most high gave bounty to daud alayhi salatu wasalam consider the position of allah the most high being the almighty the exalted describing that he grants bounty to an individual even in an ordinary setting of human beings should maybe a chairman of local government said that we are going to be to uh, reward so so person you will expect something heavy what more of maybe a governor said that we are going to reward him handsomely or the president of a particular country said that we are going to reward so so person handsomely what type of reward do you expect comparing or bearing the position of the personality who is talking now it is allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the creator of the heavens and the earth the owner of the treasury of the heavens and the earth saying that walaqad atayna daud minna fadla certainly we have granted we have given from us to daud alayhi salatu wasalam fadla bounty if you are to enumerate the bounties given to by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to daud alayhi salatu wasalam they are indeed many one allah the most high made daud alayhi salatu wasalam as one of his messengers 
This is a great bounty from Allah the Most High that he gives to whom he chooses among his servants. Number two, Allah the Most High made him as a king. Number three, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made him to be a commander, C in C, the real C in C, commander in chief of forces, whatever you may think of forces, that Allah the Most High subjected forces under Dawood alayhi salatu wasalam. He command them the way he likes. Allah the Most High also made Dawood alayhi salatu wasalam an obedient servant to him. Allah the Most High also made Dawood alayhi salatu wasalam submissive servant to him in worship. All these bounties granted to Dawood alayhi salatu wasalam never distracted him from dhikr, from worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and from considering himself as a servant of Allah, contrary to us, whereby if Allah the Most High grants an individual uh, wealth, <coughs> and that wealth will distract him from worshiping Allah the Most High. If it is mulk, that mulk will distract him from worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but consider how great the bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestowed on Dawood alayhi salatu wasalam, but he still presented himself as a servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So many of such. Ya jibalu awwibi ma'ahu wa tayr. Allah the Most High call upon mountains, jibal, mountains, this solid and non-living objects. Allah the Most High call upon them and say, Ya jibal, O you mountains, all the mountains, Allah say, Awibi ma'ahu. You should repeat from ta'wib. You should repeat praises of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ma'ahu together with Dawood alayhi salatu wasalam. If Dawood alayhi salatu wasalam sit down chanting takbir, chanting tasbih, chanting uh, uh, glorification to Allah the Most High because of the nature of his voice, so beautiful, so melodious everything the mountains the rocks the human the the the, the 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 birds and everybody will pay attention and they will be chanting tasbih along with Dawood alayhi salatu wasalam see human being allah the most high subjected even non living thing to know what he was doing of remembrance of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to do it along with him see this great bound. They knew that Dawood alayhi salatu wasalam exist. They knew that he worshiped Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through tasbih. Therefore they chant tasbih along with Dawood. This is another great bounty granted to Dawood alayhi salam. Because it was said that the voice, voice of Dawood was so sweet and melodious in nature. Sweet and melodious in nature that when he starts tasbih, everything will not help will just help but submit to what Dawood alayhi salatu wasalam was doing therefore he carries along tasbih with Dawood alayhi salatu wasalam that is why because Allah's blessings he extends to whom he wishes Allah the Most High extends such beautiful and melodious voice to some of the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasalam to which the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasalam testified that and he mentioned concerning one of his companions, known as Abu Musa al-Ash'ari, that قَدْ أُوْتِيَ مِزْمَارًا مِنْ مَزَامِيرِ al-Dawud. He was given. أَوْ أُوْتِيَ مِزْمَارًا مِنْ مَزَامِيرِ al-Dawud. You, Abu Musa, you were given a melodious voice like that of the family of Dawud, alayhi salam. When Abu Musa recites the Qur'an, then everybody must listen because of how the voice was so sweet and melodious. So Dawood alayhi salatu wasalam was granted this voice and he subjected the voice in worshiping Allah the Most High. If Allah blesses someone with voice and their wisdom, now you subject it to songs, to singing, and disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, through that. But Dawood alayhi salatu wasalam subjected his own to the worship of Allah the Most High. So also birds. Allah the Most High said, 
they should pay attention and repeat praises of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala along with Dawood alayhi salam. Another bounty, great one for that matter, uh, granted to Dawood, Allah says, wa alanna lahul hadid. And we made iron flexible to Dawood alayhi salam. Dawood manipulates, he manipulated iron the way he likes. Iron was so soft in the hands of Dawood, just like, for example, a woman who is uh, uh, doing cake or donut or that, or for that matter, maybe she mixes flour with water. See how she will be manipulating that, that flour without feeling of any difficulty, without any hardship, and she manipulates it the way she likes, whatever shape she wants to do, she does it without any difficulty. So also, Dawud Allah made iron so soft in his hand. He doesn't require fire in order to heat an iron before it gets soft and then he beats the iron, he manipulates it the way he likes. No. Whatever form of iron, doubt will crush it, will manipulate it, will cut, will cut it into pieces and join it together and do whatever he likes. That's why it was say, said that he normally constructs coats, jackets used in, uh, as a protective uh, uh, protective um, uh, instrument for during battle, during war. He normally constructs as much as how many thousand? Six, six thousand in a day. Even if it is factory, meant for construction of, meant for fabrication of such coats to produce six thousand per day, that factory must be a mighty factory. This is Dawood alayhi salatu wasalam. Hadid, iron, it's of great benefit to human being. Human being cannot do without iron. Everything you relate with iron, you, you ride car, bicycle, you use iron in your daily life. You use iron to construct, you use iron to make roads, you use iron to build, you use uh, houses, you use iron to almost everything you can think of. There is an element of iron, just few things. That's why life of human beings on the earth is greatly attached to iron. Therefore, human beings derive a lot of benefit, weapons and so on, with human beings derive a lot of benefit to iron, uh, through iron. You see this great endowment that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses Nigeria with in Koji State, Ajakuta. Up to now, the factory, the place is still sleeping because the powers to be new, what Nigeria is going to be. Nigeria is going to be great if that place is fully utilized. So therefore, every day, successive uh, governments, one government after the other, this one will help, will move, that we are going to do, but in the end, we will not do anything. This one will come, we are going to revive, we will not do anything because their power uh, uh, discouraging them or even stopping them from so doing. If that blessing is utilized, certainly Nigeria will be great and Nigeria will be able to, uh, to develop itself. Nigeria will be able to assemble cars and so many things you cannot even think about. So Allah the Most High made all these bounties to Dawood alayhi salam and never was he distracted by any of them in the worship of Allah the Most High. This is what you are expected to do. Ask someone whom Allah the Most High blesses with a wealth or power. You should not allow yourself to be absent where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to see you. In the mosque, let you be, be form the first row behind the Imam. If it is tajud in the mosque, you should be seen. You should not be absent in order to reciprocate and to recognize the favor of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on you. However, very few among such highly placed people whom you will see mixing themselves with the common men, struggling to earn paradise. Though we are not saying that they are not doing it at home, but that is great distraction and it distracted so many of them. So 
this uh, story of Dawood is a great lesson for those whom Allah blesses in one way or the other to emulate Dawood. They should not be, they should not allow such uh, favor to distract them, just as it didn't distract Dawood alayhi salam. أَنِعْمَلْ سَابِغَاتٍ وَقَدِّرْ فِي السَّرْدِ وَعْمَلُوا صَالِحًا إِنِّي بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ بَصِيرٌ نعم يا بامب لا بارين أن نبتنسا ده إلو مسعيد الله تعالى باشي ببا ها سلي ماشي أكبا لتابي ودى أكي تشوى زبورا Babam mutton ni anda bidau dari selatan usaha. Bagaimana mutton ni? Tu sabo demuli kincah dek kalifi si alat alai bama labari doming kena so ke demuli kimi kalifi dole zanto kena ada saru. Dek me demuli kincah bade ia sari mutanan sabo. Demutanan sarang. Dekanya kincah sarang tu aku emas ala. Sabo demuli kincah kerapun teh kalifi si alat alai cewa anda bidau. I imal sabigat Kayi watu aini Sulkuna Jem in sulke Wadda tupani wadda aki Yada kalipi na kari ya wajanya aki Yanzu awana zama na ankega Ana yu moto chima Wadda koda ka harba bundiga Balata shigawa na mota ba Tushi anabi dawud alata ala se Che yisu dewa Sabo demi, sabo de sojo jin saka ba kire sana da kari ya nsin saka nsin jiwa da nyaki ba za asamu watu aini rasuwa di waba kumura asamu nasara kaga mbayi ibada akwe siyasa mikarpa nga siki akwe saru na asari ya jamaa atabbatar wana ubisa besu ba akache ya isu kamara kache na ya nzu ya zantu akwe watu aini kaya nyaki isasu Domin duk abin da ya shafi kai kai kin yaki gabaki daya Annabi Dawud alayhi salatu wassalam yana yin su sabigatin jam'i ne na sabiga wadda ita ce wato ainin sulkuna to sai Allah ta'ala ya ce da shi wa qaddir fi sard kuma ka dinga wato ainin a a wannan kusuna ko kuma kusosi ko kuma kusa jam'in kusa kusa da zaka dinga mamman ne Watu sulukuna naka ya zaman tuwe na hii ndai ndai ba mechuta rwaba. Chisa idanka mkache kajirigi. Dewi yaka gawani baki mkusa. Sidi kadinga gani wani kama wani pin pin. Ya makali wana ya makali wana ya hati wana ya hati wana. Kone ya hii ndai ndai inda akasa kashi. Tu wana ndu koi neda anabi Dawud alayhi salatu wa salam. Ndu kanyaki ndala ilaki samu anduwa kowa na abu adidi ndaiki. Lumi shikar peda mang, ye na bukata nkasar rapashi, harka na son kemayu kwane kwane, ya zan tukuma akwe inda ba'da mumma nishi. Tu alat alachi mashu wa kadir, kadinga lisa po kowa ne ya zawan tuwe na indi nashi. Duk anabi Dawudu alayhi salatu wa salam, ya hai wana. Kumayasa mwana sara akanyi maka. Kaga ki nang suna da kariya, na kainyaki, suna da chikaku, kaga yanzu kasa shidewa. Se kasa mbasi eki ala kumayi. Dan kerana membenti kawan nak kesan bas ikirah, si senje senemu. Tu mula sama ancient kan semua. Allah taala cik wa amalu saliha. Tu bayang kuma kai kai saru. Tu wan number dia sari kawa. Aben dia sari kelahiran. Gua kira mesin yang kaki nak korai. Kadang gua mesti kerapun dah tu cima hamat taman tada Allah. Kadang cuma gua bayar kerapun dah bayi matu nawad adini. Ah. Allah tabarak wa ta'ala chi yei kain saru na sari muta nansa. Amma kuma yei aiki na kwari. Idan kadubi wanda mwajang. Zaka iya bawa gomna tuti shawara. Che wa dudda. Suna kukalin sari. Abinda zi zantu mutin chinsu. Na masu saru isha sun sojoji, isha sun ensanda, isha sun masu shigada puta, isha sun dut enda mara. Tu papa dah abah benda amura abu papa idam baa ibadah. Kerapun dah tak ada, kerapun perauna. Aje lahir aje punya. Saya kerap kerapun seorang ka, 
a matsayin ka na shugaba ka ga cewa ka rike ayyuka na kwarai kuma ka tursa sawa mutanen ka ta yadda duk zaka yi ka ga suna aikin kwarai kar ka bar suna kwarra Allah ta'ala ce wa amalu saliha kamar ka ce anan sai abun ya dawo jam'i wancan abin da ya shafi mulki da abubuwa ka ce ana yi ana magana ne da wato ainihin mutum daya amma wa amalu saliha dukkaninku ku yi aikin kwarai da shi annabi dawud alayhi salatu wasalam da mutanen sa ya kwadaita musu aikin kwarai ya sa su yi aikin kwarai yayi amfani da karfin mulkin sa ya sa su yi aikin kwarai duk wanda bai kwarai ba ai maganin sa tun akwai karfi ina amfanin karfin ana barna kana gani ba ka yi magani ba amfanin karfin saka duk gwamnatin da ke sa kare da kare da duniya lafiya kuma ta samu Allah lami lafiya kuma ta shiga aljanna lafiya to dole shugaba ya tabbatar yana kwadaita da mutane yana ingiza su yana tura su a tilas ya kin kware wa amalu saliha sai Allah ta'ala ce inni lalle ne inji Allah ta baraka wata bi ma ta amalu da bisa abin da kuke aikatawa basirun ina gani ina ganin komai saka kai annabi Dawud alayhi salatu wasalam ina ganin duk abin da kake aikatawa mutanen ka duk ina ganin abin da suke aikatawa ina so in ninga ganin ku kuna aikata aiki da kware kuma irin wa'annan a yi karshen su tarbiya ne ga mutum Allah ta'ala ce yana gani a ai kai ma ka san yana gani amma abin da yake nufi yana ganin ka to kai kuma tun Allah yana ganin ka ai baka so ya ganka a wajen barna ba ko idan idan mutum ya girma wa iyayensa a ce a gaban iyayensa zai sha kwalba yana tangal tangal yana maganganu wanda wasu ke zai zo gaban iyayensa ce zai kashe wani zai zo gaban iyayensa ce zai zina suna gani to Allah ya wuce shi sa tunda Allah yana ganin ka to kare ganka sai dai wajen alkhairi kare ganka wajen barna wajen sata wajen shirka wajen cin mutunci wajen zina wajen duk kare ganka ya ganka ya ganka kullum kana aikata alkhairi Allah muke roka tabarak wa ta'ala sanya mu cikin bayan sa na gari masu wato bin dokoki a dan sa annabi sulaiman yana tafe amma saboda karancin lokaci yana da wuya domin shi ma mulki Allah ta'ala ba shi mulkin da yafi na babansa ko malamai suka ce mulkin da aka ba mu Sulaimana alayhi salatu wasalam ba ba ka iya hada shi da mulkin Dawud babansa annabi Sulaiman ba ta ba mu wani mulki dan adam a banka saka musu ba sai malamai suka ce to ai yana cikin falalan da aka ba Dawud alayhi salatu wasalam kamar kana rayi ne a ce ga dan ka yafi ka ai dadi zaka saka cikin falalan da Allah ta'ala ya ma Dawud alayhi salatu wasalam ya ba shi da Sulaimana wanda ya mulki a duniya ba ta bai mai mulkin sa ko ba za a maimaita ba Allah ya sa mu cika da imani after granting those favors we have mentioned to Dawud by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then Allah commanded Dawud an i'mal sabiqatin that he should make cuts of mail wa qaddir fi sard and you should balance you should balance well the rings and uh, constructing those uh, uh, cords sabigat here refers to you can say bullet bullet proofs jacket so allah the most high commanded daud to construct such bullet proof jacket for himself for his families for his soldiers in order to ensure that that is security for his people what they call insecurity depends of territorial integrity a country is sovereign when it is able to defend itself from whatever external aggression that is the, that is why countries have air force they have military they have navy they have what in order to defend itself from external aggression so in a situation whereby a country cannot be able to protect itself from internal even internal aggression let alone external aggression that country is indeed a uh, sorry country therefore allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in addition to that power let daud alayhi salatu wasalam get ready and prepare well for defense of his of his people let there be no external aggression from anywhere that is why you see we have 
bulletproof this, bulletproof cab, bulletproof dog, bulletproof so many things in order to ensure what? In order to ensure security. So security is very, very important in the well-being of an individual and the well-being of a country as an entity. If there is no security, then that country is indeed in trouble. وَعْمَلُوا صَالِحَا وَقَدِّرْ فِي السَّرْدِ then one constructing, while constructing those coats or jackets, then Allah says you should balance well, you should measure well, so that should, they should be of equal sizes, they should be flexible, they should not be so hard, they should, so you should balance well, so that by the time it is con constructed, one will be able to put it on and it will serve the purpose why it is uh, constructed. This Allah the Most High tell Dawood alayhi salam. So after having mulk, then you should be able to depend your subject, you should be able to depend your country, no aggression whatsoever, either internal or external. Then after being powerful, it is not the power that will serve you as a leader or military power or whoever power. Raza, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who saves. And how does Allah the Most High save? Is He saves His obedient servant. By the time you depend solely on your power, Allah the Most High will crush you. Some generations came before us. They say, Man ashaddu minna quwa. Who is so mighty above us in terms of power? Allah the Most High crushed them. They add. So if you depend solely on your power or on your strength, then you are making a mistake. But prepare well. And then also submit yourself to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa'amalu saliha. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell Dawood and his people that wa'amalu saliha. You should walk righteous. It is this righteousness that will make this uh, power effective. Because you have uh, quwa madiya. Physical power and who also you have divine power. Divine power you can only source it as a result of your obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But if you are powerful, you are not obedient, then you will be arrogant. And as you are arrogant, Allah the Most High does not love those who are arrogant. Therefore, Allah will make you to crash. So, power, obedience combined, then one will be untouchable. So, with this, it is clear to those who are in power, either whatever level of power, if it is combined with fear of Allah, worshiping of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, uh, commanding good and also discouraging evil to that mulk by the grace of Allah will be uh, coordinated well because you are not the one coordinating it. Allah the Most High will be helping you to coordinate and everybody will be subservient. But if you depend on your power, Allah, there is no way you can manipulate people. Allah the Most High, their controller will be, will be the one to direct them, will be able, the one to subject them, to subjugate them to your words and to obey you, whether willingly or unwillingly. So this is what Dawud alayhi salatu wasalam did, and he succeeded in his mulk. And sabiratin wa qaddir fi sardi wa amalu saliha. Inni bima ta'amaluna basir. Allah says, certainly, I am watchful. I am ever watchful on whatever you are doing. Nothing ex escapes the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nothing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not monitor in our deed. Therefore, one has to be very careful and observe his limits and not to go excess, go beyond the limit so that Allah the Most High will safeguard him if he, 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 uh, he observes his limit. But if he goes beyond his limit, Allah the Most High is the most powerful. Allah will crush an individual and he will not go anywhere. This is about Dawood who was blessed in so many ways. Blessed being a prophet of Allah, being a king, being wealthy, being a uh, manipulator of iron, doing whatever he likes, given a scripture, Zabur, so many things. And also Amal Salih, righteous deed. With this, Dawood uh, lived successfully, died successfully, and he was given a successor who was given mulk 
power more than the way Allah the Most High gave to, uh, to Dawood. That was Suleiman alayhi salatu wa salam who was given mulk even he controlled. Among his troops were jinn. Somebody's mulk he was able to control jinn and command them. Something that you cannot see. Even if you have dream with a jinn, that day you will not sleep. You go to your imam that you say, your body is shaking. Hey, imam, help me pray. I see something that's some supernatural power. I can't sleep. I can't sleep. When he gives you some idle cruise, then you'll be able to. But Suleiman Alayhi controlled jinns. Allah subjected them to, the, to him. He, they follow his command. Whatever he asked them to do, that's what they were doing. This is the point, inshallah, we are going to stop until next year. If Allah extends our lives, may Allah accept from us and forgive our shortcomings. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Muna godiya ga Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala da ya rayar da mu zuwa wannan lokaci kuma dukkanin mu mu ji tsoron Allah domin dukkan ibadu da muke yi maksudin sa a ji tsoron Allah wannan azmi da Allah ya faranta akan mu cikin hikimomin da ake so a tabbatar shine mu ji tsoron Allah ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu kutiba alaykum as-siyamu kama kutiba ala alladhina min qablikum la'allakum tattaqun ya ku masu imani mun faranta azmi akan ku kamar yadda muka farlanta akan al'umomi magabata ba dan komai ba sai domin wato ku ji tsoron Allah wannan ita ce wasiyyan annabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam ga dukkan sahabban sa kuma wasiyya ce wadda Allah ta'ala yayi a cikin alqur'ani ga al'umomi magabata da al'umar mu saboda mu yi kokari mu inganta jin tsoron Allah mu abu na biyu wannan annoba da ta addabi al'umar gabaki daya da ma duniya gabaki daya daga Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala abun yake koda kuwa muna jin wadansu ne suka kirkirota to a matsayin ka na musulmi ka mika wuya cewa haka Allah ya kaddara mana wannan annoba kuma muna fatan Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala yayi mana mafita a zan ba da shawara ga yan wana almajirai da kuma iyayen mu malamai cewa kada ai da maran yaki na rabuwa saboda wannan matsalar domin idan aka rarraba akan ta musamman kwanan nan da aka bude kasuwanni da wasu sashin ayyukan gwamnati da bankuna har yanzu masallatayya a wasu jihohi suna kulle wannan ya kawo ka ce na ce mai yawa tsakanin almajirai da malamai to mu fatan mu shine kar mu maida wannan wato ginshiki wadda wala da bara din mu zai kasance akan wannan fatawar idan ka dauki gwamnati ba ta yi daidai ba kai maganganu masu zafi akan dole a bude masallacin da a bude kasuwa ka tsaya akan cewa ra'ayinka ne kana fatan Allah ya baka dacewa kuma ya biya ka karaka kai ga taba daraja da mutunci da matsayi na yan wanka almajirai wadda ba su da wannan ra'ayi haka kai ma wanda yake ganin a a a bi hukuma a sannu akwai dalile da dama wadda ka iya ba wa mutane daman a bude masu kasuwanni don su ci abinci kasu mutu domin wannan mutu ake tsoro a corona ba ka da inda za ka yi ka samu wani abu na abinci in ba kasuwan ba amma musallaci akwai sauki kana iya ba da gidanka wadda suka dauki wannan ra'ayi kada su kuma su dangumi ɗan uwan su masu wancan har su maida su ne abokanan gaban su domin yanzu abun ya so ma zafi an so mu maganganu da juna har wa inda ba su da dadi a ciki idan muka ci gaba da wannan idan corona ta kare za a raba al'umma wacce haɗuwan su zai wahala ina ga najeriya tana da misalin rabuwa wadda har yau ba a hadu ba saboda abin da bai kamata a rabu ba yan uwa masu girma mu dauki wannan al'amari kamar abin da ya faru na la yusalliyan ahadukum al asra illa fi bani qurayza Allah muke roka ya kawo mana saukin wannan lamari cikin gaggawa a birnin tarayya abuja a yau dai talata ne muna fatan juma'a mai zuwa da birnin tarayya da dukkan inda aka rufe masallati muna fata Allah ta'ala ya bude mana su kuma budewa na ruwan sanyi da hukuma da kanta za ta ce to 
an yadda muku je ku yi ibadun ku saboda abin da muka hango na saukin wannan lamari abu na uku musulmi ya amfani da dama duk inda yake kaga mu dai masu kananan shekaru ba mu taba ganin shekaran da za a yi ramadan a ce mutane ba za su yi tarawi a masallatai ba sai a wannan karo kada Allah ya maimaita mana kaga duk wanda suke zuwa tarawi ma zuwa tafsiri ma su zuwa dukkan abuwa na addini masallaci Allah zai ba su ladan su cikekke in Allah ya su sabanin wanda ba su yi kaga da wannan tago ta kwace saka duk abin da Allah ya baka na dama ko na dukiya ko na mulki ko na ilmi ko na lafiya kai amfani da shi gabanin ya kwace maka abu na hudu mai yawa ta istighfar ya tuba domin yawan zunubi yana kawo irin abin da muke ciki a yanzu mu yawa ta tuba kar mu danga tsarki kawo nan mu yawa ta tuba abu na karshe yawa ta addu'a matakar al'umma tana addu'a to Allah zai kawo ta dauki da sauki muna fata Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala ya gafarta mana ya kuma wato karbi ayyukan mana ibada Allah ta'ala ya hada kan al'umma na musulmai Allah ya mana magana wannan al'umma after uh and are going this unique tafsir of this year why we say it's unique because throughout our lives and even history of those who came before us of our great grandfathers we had never experienced a situation whereby ramadan came tafsir of this nature is being conducted with only three people the cameraman and those who are conducting the tafsir this is indeed a calamity which we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not to repeat for us as muslims in up to uh, to the end of our lives uh, as a concluding remark to this tafsir we admonish ourselves we admon admonish ourselves and the the entire muslims that we should fear allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because fear of allah is the root of every goodness lack of allah's lack of piety is also the root of every evil that can uh, come to an individual may allah the most high save us that is why you find out that in the glorious quran allah the most high enjoin the muslims or people to even to all people to fear allah so also the prophet of allah the most high enjoin all of us to fear allah subhanahu wa ta'ala number two this uh, pandemic of covid 19 which come uh, with the approval of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whatever one may say maybe this is the origin or that is the origin if allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not approve there is no way it can come there is no way it can harm anybody so the most important thing especially this time around when there were many calls from different scholars that the uh, mosques should be open equally as markets and other offices were open so scholars in nigeria are taking camps i want to see how is that every camp or every party should respect the other party do not condemn do not blackmail consider him who has contrary opinion or who has contrary position to your own as your brother don't allow this unity to continue to the extent that even after the uh, pandemic then people will remain in different camps this is even more dangerous than the corona itself may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, unite us and also continue to guide us and may allah the most high make our places of worship our mosques to be open as uh, soon as possible then utilizing one's time it is always very important for one to utilize one's opportunity You see for example last year we were free some of us were in their houses they never attended any of the tafsir now those who did not now there is no more opportunity for us to convert as we normally do so the reward that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us last year 
Our intention that had it been we are free would have been here or other places where tafsir is being conducted, Allah the Most High will grant reward for us as a result of uh, that intention. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to cover us with his mercy. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to clear away this pandemic that is ravaging the whole world, including our dear country, Nigeria. Rabbana la tuzuk ulubana bade za deta na hula na mula dunka rahmatan naka anta lohab. La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inna kunna min al-dhalimeen. La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inna kunna min al-dhalimeen. اللهم إنا نسألك بأنك أنت الله الأحد الصمد الذي لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد أن تغفر لنا ذنوبنا يا أرحم الراحمين يا رب العالمين يا دي السلام يا ذا الجلال والإكرام اللهم إنا عبيدك وبني عبيدك وبني عمائك نواصنا بيدك ماض فينا حكمك أدل فينا قضاءك نسألك بكل اسم هو لك سميت به نفسك أو أنزلته في كتابك أو علمته أحدا من خلقك أو استعثرت به في علم الغيب عندك أن تجعل القرآن العظيم ربيع قلوبنا ونور صدورنا وجلاء أحزاننا وذهاب همومنا وغمومنا يا رب العالمين اللهم إنا نسألك من الخير كله عاجله وآجله ما علمنا منه وما لم نعلم ونعوذ بك من الشر كله عاجله وآجله ما علمنا منه وما لم نعلم اللهم إنا نسألك من كل خير سألك منه عبدك ونبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم ونعوذ بك من كل شر نستعبك منه عبدك ونبيك محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم أنت المستعان عليك البلاغ ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من زوال نعمتك وتحول عافيتك وفجاءة نقمتك وجميع سخطك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من البرس والجنون والجذام ومن سيء الأسقام يا رب العالمين اللهم أصلح لنا ديننا الذي هو عصمة أمرنا وأصلح لنا دنيانا التي فيها معاشنا وأصلح لنا آخرة التي إليها معادنا واجعل الحياة زيادة لنا في كل خير والموت راحة لنا من كل شر يا أرحم الراحمين يا رب العالمين ذا الجلال والإكرام اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم اغفر لنا وما ما قدمنا وما أخرنا وما أسررنا وما أنت علم به منا يا رب العالمين يا رب العالمين هدي السلام يا ذل جلال الإكرام ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذا ديتنا لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت لهب اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من البرس والجنون والجذام ومن سيء الأسقام يا أرحم الراحمين يا رب العالمين اللهم لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا وأخطأنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا وأخطأنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا وأخطأنا واغفر لنا يا مولانا إنك أنت الغفور الرحيم وتب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم فمن شهد منكم الشهر فليصم ومن كان مريضا أو على سفر فعدة من أيام أخر يريد الله بكم اليسر ولا يريد بكم العسر